Hey guys, it's Pastor Brian with another Coffee Break devotion. Hey everyone, this is Albert. How are you all doing? Two days from today, something amazing and supernatural is going to happen in your life. God is going to do extraordinary things. Expect coming up next. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button for new video notification. Joseph was born on two days from today in 1562 BC and that is Tuesday. God is a good God who really gave birth to Joseph into this world in the Old Testament and as we see that an amazing new birth is going to come in your life. God is going to release such a new birth, a new beginning moment in your life. All those areas where you have failed and waited, your waiting season is over. No longer you need to wait because God is birthing the new momentum, a new moment of delivery. You are going to have an amazing blessing. It is time for you to have a labor and have the baby because God wants to do marvelous things in your life, wonderful things. Hallelujah. It has been seven years since Jacob and Rachel, they were married. They never had a baby for seven long years, but God put an end to the seven long years you of mean waiting I'm not fat? after tomorrow. And God I'm is going to do the same thing in your life. Um, I'm sorry for what you just had to watch. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, misinformation that's out there. And I have to admit that when I watch videos like this guy, uh, I'm somewhat um, irritated and caught off guard. Well, I guess caught off guard is not really an accurate information because Christ told us that there were going to be many false prophets out there, and we'll look at that in just a moment. Um, but you know what? The crazy thing about it is there are so many pastors out there. There are a lot of awesome pastors that are out there that are putting out some very good teaching. And they're strong men of God. And and I hope that if your pastor is one of those, that you are encouraging them, that you are lifting them up. And I don't know if you can hear that cicada out there, but he is getting louder and louder the louder I get. But, um, you know, this guy on this, this video that you just watched, I think the video has 35,000. He's got... 36,000 followers or whatever in the, um, the video itself has like 2.6 thousand people who have hit the like button. And if you go down under there and you read the comments, I, I went and I read the comments and I thought, you know, surely there's someone that is going to be a voice of reason and call this guy out because there were multiple issues that I had uh, with his with his his video, and I hope that you would also any uh, faithful follower and student of the word would have multiple issues with the claims that he was making. First of all, let's just narrow it down to one: the entire twelve-minute word, prophetic word that he put out there, was uh, was baseless and was had zero scripture uh, in it, had, n had nothing to do with salvation or the gospel. Instead, it was a, a, a prophetic word that was supposed to be fulfilled for the watcher. Every watcher, every viewer that saw it, this was a, was, a, was a message that was for each person to take and own personally as though it was uh, created specifically for them. That there was going to be some new birthing in their life. Oh, give me a break. That applies to everybody. They, I mean, and if you go and you look under the, 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 the comment section uh, posted on the video, then what do you see? Oh, you get people that, and, and I'm not remembering anything exact, but it, this is the kind of stuff that you'll read just as an example. Oh, praise God, uh, he gave me a new car. Um, I was able to um, um, change jobs or um, 
you know, my, I was having problems with my mother-in-law and then this happened. And uh, I mean, come on. I mean, every person has those ongoing issues in their life, you know, period of ups and downs. Every day is an opportunity for woe, and every day is an opportunity for praise. So is that praise because I have a praise in my life? Is that a new birthing? Is that a new awakening of, of something? Come on, folks. You cannot simplify your relationship uh, with Christ and uh, to the good things and limit it only to the good things in life. And give God the praises because I got a great parking space in, in Walmart and that's my new birthing. I mean, come on. We do praise God for all of those good things. I mean, it, it, the Word of God teaches us that all good things come down from the Father in heaven. But we've got to be there in the and in the, in the, in, see him in the, even the bad things also. We've got to glorify him all the time. And these false teachers that are out there are feeding these people. And, and some of you are watching me right now, and you're soaking this stuff up like like a sponge, and it's it's just gross. It's sickening to my stomach because. Did you hear him say one thing? I didn't even let you hear the whole message, but you can go find it, look it up for yourself, and if you if you want to listen to the to the full twelve minutes of his garbage, but it's all about me, myself, and I. It's about you, about what God's going to do for you, for you, for you, for you. And you know that's the danger and, and of what we see happening in Christian culture today. You know, people are about a, a, a they're an inch deep and a mile wide. Because everything they do is about them, what God is going to do uh, with them. And, and it's, so, it's so frustrating. I, want, I want, to, want you to understand something. First, take your Bible and turn to Matthew uh, chapter 24. And we'll just look at, at, at uh, start at verse 9. Uh, and I'm reading for the, from the, uh, today I'm using from, from the Holman uh, translation. But here we read, and yes, I do have a big Bible. It's because I'm blind. So, no, you don't have to carry a suitcase Bible like I do most of the time. But anyway, uh, then they will hand you over. This is, uh, again, Matthew 24, 9. Then they will hand you over to persecution, and they will kill you. Happy days are not on the way. As a follower of Christ, persecution is headed your way. Deal with it. Get grounded. Become grounded in the Word of God so that you can stand. Go read and study Ephesians 6, 12 through 20 and know how you can stand during the times of persecution and, and during the, in the spiritual battle that we're in. He says, you will be hated by all nations because of my name. We're going to be hated. And Christ goes on and says, then many will take offense. They're going to be offended by us. They're, they'll be offended by our, our message. They're going to betray one another, hate one another. And then many, uh-oh, I broke the COVID-19, uh, didn't I? I'm sorry. Let me flip this page. Prophets will rise up and deceive many because lawlessness will multiply. The love of many will grow cold, but the one who endures to the end will be delivered. So I, I said all that to say this. Look, your life is not going to be a bed of roses as a follower of Christ. You need to be rooted in the Word and be prepared to take on the evil that's out there. We do have a formidable em enemy, and he's better organized than we are in a lot of ways. But then Christ says, this is, uh, or excuse me, then he says, this is the good news for the kingdom will be proclaimed in all the world as a testimony to all of the nations. You know, and he, he goes on to let us know that there are going to be many false prophets uh, who would come and they would deceive even uh, the elect. You, you'll find that over in verse 23. Um, but I want to, real quickly, I want to flip over now to... Uh, Second Thessalonians, and in Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse nine, we read, "The coming, the coming of the lawless one is based on Satan's work." I apologize. There's a little glitch there. My uh, didn't realize it as I was recording, but my camera had shut off. So we we were headed over to, into Second Thessalonians chapter two, and and, and there we read uh, the beginning of. 
what is religious deception that we are seeing today. As we read in verse 9, the coming of the lawless one is based on Satan's working with all kinds of false miracles, signs, and wonders, with every unrighteous deception among those who are perishing. Okay, let's pause right there. Uh, so we see that uh, we enter a time in which uh, there are false miracles, false signs, false uh, wonders. There's, as Christ said, there are, are false prophets, and they're, they're promoting a false Christ. They're giving you a picture of, of Christ that is just not true. They're giving you a picture of, uh, the, of, the, of Christianity, of the Christian faith. That is just not true. And that is the false gospel that we are seeing today. God help us. Listen folks, let's wake up. Your daily walk is not about you. It's not about your life. It's not about your happiness in this world. Your daily uh, walk is about rising above persecution and, and, and still having victory and joy in this life. Because your best life is not now. Your best life is yet to come. <laughs> and these false preachers want to, and ministers, you know, they're all, they're selling their services and people are lapping it up. I mean, that's amazing. That's the offensive part uh, in this. And, and yes, yeah, somebody said, somebody might say that, well, Brian, you, you seem angry. Yeah, I am angry and I'm irritated. I'm very frustrated that people are falling prey to this because there we can't look to the signs and wonders and get caught up in those feelings and emotions. Yeah, we are to look for them and know that they are signs of the coming of the Lord, but not signs and wonders and how great my day's going to be or how wonderful Christ is. The Word of God tells me how wonderful Christ is. I already have that information. I don't need anyone to tell me that. I don't need anything to bear witness to that fact. I, I know that. But then look at uh, what, what, what he says, what Paul says here as in the second part of verse 10. Again, we're in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. He says, they'll have every unrighteous deception among those who are perishing. And they perish, listen to this, they perish because they did not accept the love of the truth in order to be saved. You see, that's our only uh, defense against the deception of the age. And that is developing and having a love for the truth. Stop looking for a new birth. Stop looking for some great happening. The great happening has already occurred and we find that and discover that in the Word of God. Everything that we need to live successfully for Christ has been given to us right there. We don't need anything else. We don't need a fresh word. We don't need any of these frivolous new birthings because we've got everything that we need it's been given to us folks get into the truth get into God's Word there's your source of strength there is your power there is your ability to stand against trial and tribulation there is your ability to be strong when death comes to your door you can stand in victory unafraid Praise God for that word. Praise God for that word. I hope that you've been touched in, in some way uh, by this little devotion. Uh, this is uh, the second in our coffee break devotions, and I hope that you're having a great week and that you're preparing your heart, preparing your heart and mind to um, come together for worship on, on Sunday. Collective worship, uh, communal worship is important to the lives of of every believer. So don't give me that garbage about, well, you don't have to be a believer, uh, go to church to be a believer. Well, only if you want to be a good believer. Only if you want to be everything that Christ has called us to be, should you go to church. And, I, and only if you, you desire to, to please God, which is a desire to be righteous before Him. So, you know, we can go about, on about that all day. But I hope that you are preparing your heart and ready for worship uh, right now. If you have any questions or comments, then let us know. Uh, I don't debate. Uh, online. Uh, it's just not a good format. Uh, but if you'd like to talk with me or whatever, feel free to shoot me a private message. I pray that you guys have a blessed day.